E aí, gente? Bed Brewer aqui. Today, we're going to talk about two words I never thought belonged together. Soffit bees. We had bees underneath the decking on the roof. So we had to have that taken care of, and that's one of the reasons why we haven't been able to uh, get an episode out for a little while. Anyway, on here today is uh, how we uh, ended up getting rid of those bees. I will encourage you to uh, not just use poison uh, against the bees, because uh, then you're going to end up with the brood comb that's still there and be born again. In addition, you end up uh, with uh, the comb still being there. When uh, the temperature becomes 110 degrees or so, it's going to melt and uh, then you're going to get flooded with honey. And uh, water causes enough damage I can't even imagine about uh, honey. So this is the area of the ceiling they were in, and this is a thermal image of that location. Interestingly enough, bees have a body temperature of approximately 100 degrees, uh, so it's a little bit more than humans, and uh, they show up really nicely on thermal imaging. Now the company I went with was the Honey Bee Rescue, and uh, what they do is they collect the bees, use them in their hives, additionally they put the roof back together. Now I'm not receiving any paid endorsements or anything, but uh, you should go ahead and take a look at what these guys do, and uh, if you end up with a problem, I recommend again that you uh, call a, a company that rescues the bees and uh, utilizes them instead of just uh, spraying them with poison. I do apologize for the audio. I was on the roof and it was a fairly windy day. So check it out. Here's the bee remover. Taking off the shingles. Soon he'll be taking off the decking. And we'll be seeing the bees. There's another shingle. He's gonna get moved up. He's keeping the same pattern, so. He can put it back together exactly the way that it was. Right now, he is working on getting the nails pulled out of the decking. I think they're showing up in the video, but there are a hundred thousand bees flying around. That backing is flexing quite there it goes. And the hive is right underneath that deck. And there she is. Looks like it's about a foot, and yeah, I don't even know how long it is, but it's definitely a foot down. Looks like about four cones, you think? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cone. Wow. So that's pretty good size. How? Clearly, it's been there for a while. Yeah, at least early this year. 
Yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna come back away because the bees are swarming and I am more than a little nervous. Okay, now he's gonna go vacuum out where the colony was entering the, the roof because there's a bunch of kind of hanging out there. put me in the mood to uh, brew up some meat. Perhaps that'll be coming up in a future episode, but until next time, have a good one.